the story so far. <laughs> it sounds like an intro of the final episode of Supernatural, which hold that thought, I'm going to go back to that. So welcome to another vlog and uh, grab your beverage of choice and we're going to hang out for a few minutes. I'm drinking tea and uh, I'm going to talk about three things today. I'm going to reflect on my trip to Greece. I'm going to reflect on my first uh, week and a half on my new job. And uh, what was the third? I forgot. Oh yeah, TV series. Yes. So I want to talk about my trip to Greece, which, um, well, long story short, let's get right to it. I kind of regret that I didn't enjoy it more because mostly it was me the problem really well let me take it from the beginning well I have mentioned it before you know and we all know we live in a pandemic so the corona restrictions restrictions were a bit too hard for me because Sweden yeah I come from Sweden which um, I don't come I, I live in Sweden I come from Greece uh, where we don't really have mandatory masks of course people are wearing them but it's not mandatory um, anyway we don't have things that are like obligatory in other countries and I'm not saying who is doing like uh, who is right and wrong okay in those things you have to consider about all of the like socio cultural factors of a country and Sweden is kind of special in that you know i mean something cultural here is way different in greece so some things cannot work in the same way if you know what i mean anyway things that in greece of course the restrictions are way tougher than they are here in a way more rest more strict restrictions so anyway it was mask uh, on many many places and then Luckily, in the last two days only, they have increased, like, um, you had to show your uh, COVID vaccination uh, passport. How is it called? Yes. And uh, those that are not vac vaccin vaccinated have to show a negative test, which that includes my son. But we never did it. I mean, we didn't do the test because, you know, we don't we're not in the health system registered of Greece. So, of course, there are ways to do it. But it's a lot of bureaucracy if you're not registered. I, I don't know. I wasn't even thinking of that for the past two days. So um, we weren't able to sit on a restaurant, not because the people, the owners didn't want us to sit, but they had to ask for a test which we didn't have so you know it was a bit uncomfortable but it happened only twice so yeah luckily the weather was great so we were able to be outside you know sunny and we did long walks so that was nice the food was great um up to the point of that restriction of course we were able to sit in restaurants and eat nice greek food and it was nice but um i was very stressed about that thing that made me feel stressed and that made me not to be able to enjoy my time there however i, I managed to see of course my dad which is the most important thing and uh, my sister and my brother friends close friends and uh, people that i really really wanted to see but of course it was short as always the trips are short and there are people that i didn't see even though i wanted to see but uh, yeah, I came back with a kind of bitter or sad taste uh, because I couldn't like relax to enjoy it as I wanted and I was very, you know, stressed. Anyway, mm. however, as I said, I met, uh, I saw uh, close friends, there are people that I really, really wanted to see and I got some presents. <laughs> Let me show you this. This is a present. Uh, from my friends there we did a mini Halloween party which it was kind of will it happen will it not happen it happened so we did a mini Halloween like party and let me show you what I got this is great it's a mirror yes there is it focus yes it's amazing um, I, I got some candy that I already ate um, I don't remember what was here. Look at that wrapping paper. It's ghosts. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, and it's Luke. <laughs> I got. I mean, this is awesome. I, I got great presents, so that was nice. I, and also, um, like a, a makeup uh, sponge with a little ghost, which I don't know why I don't have it here, but anyway. And uh, let me show you something else. I got stuff to show you. Uh, when I left my previous job, the day that I left, you know, I got some farewell presents, which is very nice. Did I show you these? I think I have, but I'm going to show you again anyway. I mean, look at those things. My colleagues knew me, like they, they really know me. They know what I like. So yeah. And also, so those are presents from the pre previous work from my colleagues. <laughs> those flowers with skulls, I mean, amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, and I got this from my, my brother gave this to me, which is great. Thank you, brother. One of the highlights of the trip, well, we get to stay at my sister's place and uh, her balcony can i just say here on the record on camera live that christina you have a great balcony i really enjoyed the balcony um nice view it was great weather i mean i could stay outside we were outside with a like a t-shirt having breakfast we did have breakfast there and i was having my morning coffee there when the weather was nice of course now let's go to my new job okay uh, i feel spoiled well my new boss is amazing this is great so she got me the equipment like i need and you know like i have a new i have the m1 the apple the macbook pro m1 the 14 inches laptop two screens the iphone 13 pro like i'm not complete i cannot i cannot complain i don't have any rights to complain I'm, I'm i'm so thankful great tools and having those tools it really helps having great tools doesn't make you write better code or making better websites but it helps with the productivity and that productivity is what makes you you know create better whatever kind of work you're doing better projects designs elementary websites you know whatever it is and i was so happy i'm so happy because it is a uh, one week and a half really and it's like i have learned things in that time there like me i have developed and i have learned new elemental tricks new css things like it's like oh my god this is amazing and it goes great so far and of course i know that in with every job you know with time you know there are you get into the routine you become a routine or there are some negative things and some very positive things like you have to do some things that you might not enjoy but there are things that you uh, have to do that you really enjoy but so far i am not experiencing any negative things everything is nice but uh, you know but i'm fully aware that you know the time will come but still um the feeling you know you get that uh, feeling in your stomach what do you call it yeah uh, it's it feels great i'm very happy uh, so yeah things are going great in that area as well now let's go to the series okay now i have also started watching supernatural because i've never finished it i know and it took me a while to realize in which season i am which i think i still haven't i don't know in which season i am somewhere in season 10 11 i'm still trying to figure out which episode you know i'm reading a bit i'm watching some recaps and stuff like that so and why am i doing that okay let me go a few steps back so um here in sweden i'm part of this uh, book club online book club well we meet sometimes real life occasionally now we haven't done that for years uh, but we are a group you know girls mostly only we are a group of girls um, that we are in this book club and one of them says thing we have been talking recently and we have agreed to do kind of a geeky nerdy podcast uh, which is coming soon um, and uh, she went to comic con in stockholm which it happened at the same time as when I was in Greece, so I couldn't go there. And uh, Felicia Day was there, and I missed that. But anyway, so so Felicia Day, she also plays in Supernatural. So we were talking about it, and she said, well, you should finish it. You should watch it, Supernatural, so we can also have something to talk about. And I was like, yeah, you're right. And that's why I started watching it again, and I'm going to finish it now. So that's the update when it comes to TV series. Um, when it comes to podcasts and my live streamings, yes. 
so my boyfriend he has been very sick that's why i haven't been posting things online because i haven't taken care of the <laughs> fort here so he has uh, i'm not going to go into many details because it's not nice details but he has had a very tough case of food poisoning so yeah um but um i'm slowly getting back on track now you know the trip the new job the sickness you know i wasn't able to make some new content but it's happening uh, because i have this podcast um, show stream live stream whatever I, we, we don't know exactly how we're going to do it but i think it's going to be live um with um, the girl from the book club search thing that we're gonna talk about geeky nerd stuff and also once a month with robert lee we also said we're gonna do we have agreed and we have planned it we're gonna do a, a pop culture podcast so that is coming uh december 2nd is a date yeah uh, so stay tuned for that so those are the things that are happening and of course my weekly live streams which i might change again <laughs> the schedule um for the middle of the week i don't know if it's going to be maybe thursdays we will see i will let you know you will notice hopefully um so those are the things uh, going on lately i don't have anything else to say for the moment which the moment i stop recording this vlog i'm going to remember more about more things to discuss um but yeah that's about it to to sum up trip to greece yes new job yes uh, tv series yes new podcasts yes things are happening again um so thank you so much for watching uh, enjoy your beverage enjoy the rest of your day and see you around on the interwebs bye bye